I don't know, I play the music according to the day, I guess. You know, we got everything from Ozzy Osbourne to country music, you know, and I there's some pretty positive and upbeat country music. <clears throat> we just uh, mix with everything. What do you, how else do you stay positive? Because like you said, there are these stretches where it's just... Well, I, <clears throat> you have to stay positive, and if things are going bad, I just kind of take them back to uh, ground zero, basically day one, you know, and here we go again. We're going to, we got to train. You know, we're in a race, but there's times that you have to resort back kind of to uh, day one, you know, the training techniques and, and all the positive. You, you can't be negative around them and expect to have a good run. And um, I have more motivation as to be negative. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I got to stay upbeat. I've had all the negative I can deal with in the last couple of months, and I, there's no way. This is a new race for me. I'm, you know, I'm happy to be here, and there's nothing now that is going to keep me and kick me down. You know, no matter what. I've, I don't know. Mentally, I guess I can do it. It's easy, you know. I mean, it's easy for me to stay positive when you're in a bad situation. I had the worst situation in my life uh, a couple years back when I spent the summer in the hospital. Uh, I could stay upbeat about anything after that. You know, that was the biggest roller, emotional roller coaster ride I've ever witnessed or experienced. I've done a few thousand mile races and uh, quite a few others. And, uh, you know, I've seen the worst. And, you know, in my racing situations, I have now always had a positive race. But I'm always smiling, you know. Even though I might not be thinking I'm happy, I got a smile on my face, you know. It might be some sarcastic looking smile, but yeah, we're, um, I just I have to stay positive. It's gonna it's gonna benefit me and my team. And uh, you know I don't wish nothing on nobody. But... At what certain point in this race do you feel like you need to be with the front runners to make You thought about that? The strategy. Uh, the way I told my wife, there ain't nobody going nowhere without me. I'm going to be like the bumper of this truck. If the bump bumper's moving, the back bumper's moving. And that's me. I'm the back bumper. Yeah. Uh, whether it be Muscati or however you pronounce his name, he's known to uh, make a go from the get-go. John Little, John Shandemeyer. There's a bunch of really good teams here. I figure there's 21 teams i got to try and keep up with. You know? So, uh... Race is on, you know. Is like it said, better I'm to be right behind those front, that front runner to be like not be the rabbit? Well, you know, it just depends on the situation. I, I have in the past, I've watched people who have been the rabbit, and, and I've seen them go on to win, and I've seen uh, people who are rabbits that fall back and crash. Now that is just a, that is a matter of my judgment on my team. My team is capable of being in first, running in first without me pushing them or doing something beyond their ability. Well, then I'm gonna be in first. That's, I mean, I'm not. I'm going to judge my team by the way they go. We're not really ready to uh, to go 100 miles to Braver nonstop right at the moment. We've had four or five days on the road. I haven't really been doing new, too many runs here in the neighborhood. You know, of any, I did a couple, but they weren't over about 10, 12 miles. You know, just enough to stretch them out. So <clears throat> it is a little bit warm, and it's going to be warm. But when we start, so uh, I'm going to take it easy. I'm going to see what other people are going to kind of go and do. I have my plan and what I want to do. Like I said, not too many people will be going nowhere without me. If they, you know, if it's not my um, game plan, well, I'm I'm very ex easily uh, to change what I think might be for the best, or I'll let them go <laughs> go on by. You know, <laughs> try and stay positive about that because I really hate being past when I know I'm capable of being with them. Or let me ask you about your clothes a little bit. Yes. <laughs> My you got a hole there in your, in your glove. <laughs> you know, some of these guys have these like real, like they have these big sponsors and they'll have like the whole newness suit or like a yep. brand new blue shiny parka. What's your philosophy on your, I mean, uh, as long as you stay warm, are you happy? Well, yeah, and I'd love to be able to afford all those new clothes and whatnot. I unfortunately don't have some of the big sponsors. I have a whole list of sponsors. Uh, but, and I thank God every day for having them, but they're not big dollar sponsors. A lot of, there's a lot of people on there for two hundred dollars. You know that everybody that gives me a dollar gets recognized. That's how I am. They all sponsor me in some way or another. Well, that's your name goes there. Um, <clears throat> uh, it just makes me try harder and want it more. There is not a single person here that needs it or wants it more than I do. And that is my motivation. 
I'd love to be parked next to a truck this guys have, or have a truck parked here with all the fancy signs and been able to wash it this morning, you know. But uh, that was breakfast money, so the truck didn't get washed, you know. <laughs> and that's just the way it is. I don't have a problem with that. Like I said, it's going to keep me going. And, and people don't really maybe sometimes look at, say, my outfit and, and put me on the competitive list. You know, they see, they do actually, I, you know, and people are starting to, they they're starting to you, open maybe. their eyes a little bit now because, it, you know, I've always said my truck and my clothes don't make the team go any better or perform any better. Makes me perform a little better because I might be butt cold <laughs> and I have to move a little far faster and work a little harder. But in all reality, that's a blessing because uh, I do need to be staying where I'm going to, i got a seat on my sled, but it's not for really nothing much but looks and maybe taking a break few seconds. I'm on my feet and I'm running and kicking as hard as the next guy. <clears throat> so, I don't know. I'm just, uh, you I'm happy ready? to get here. You're I am. Ready? I'm so You're ready. Safe. I am so ready. And the dogs are so ready. Just, you know, the vibes they're getting this morning, just, you can almost see it in their eyes. They're, you know, just, and, and, and a lot of these guys are veterans in terms of many races. They're young, um, but they know that this is, this is not just any race. I've been telling them what it means for a long time this day and this morning we went out and we you know, had talks with every single one of them and you know this is what we've been working our butt off for all year long you know it's time to step up and be on their best performance and then get along and don't give me no crap you know now is not the time so let's get our game face on and then you know i talked to them just like that and i really believe that they understand me maybe bits and pieces or what have you but they I don't just, you know, I'll make them look at me in the eye, you know? And a lot of them do it anyway, naturally. So, uh, this team has been, I've raised every single one of these dogs from puppies. Some of them been in my bed as being born. I mean, literally, we had a litter of pups on my bed. And uh, they stayed there until they were good darn ready to get up and go somewhere else, you know? And, to, you know, we basically slept around them. And you know, these are my kids. And we have an understanding. I hope they listen. I hope they, I hope they really, uh, yeah, I really hope they listen.